Howdy 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 my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading Capricorn for August. So when it comes to consuming my tarot readings here today Capricorn, let me know in the comments below how my readings help you out. That's how I keep up with you and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out Capricorn more than you ever possibly could know darling and I really appreciate those who take the extra step to do that. All right, and so today, Capricorn, we're going to be getting into three rows for you. They're your first row. We're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind right now today, Capricorn. All right, and then in your second row, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. All right, Capricorn, and then in your third row, darling, we're going to be getting into just your predictions uh, today. If you continue down the same path that you have been going, Capricorn, I can make some pretty solid predictions about what's going to be happening for you. All right, because the future is never solid, but if you continue down this path, I'll tell you what's up, honey. So back of the deck energy here is the two of swords capricorn all right be sure when it comes to consuming tarot readings today as well that you do more than just your one zodiac sign check out your sun moon rising as well as your venus styling all right so two of swords coming in here for you capricorn back of the deck energy for you all right i see this sense of just like winds of change here all right winds of change what does that you and mean spirits here winds of change you're going to be having some opportunity to really switch things up in your life here all right i want to be saying for some of you Capricorns, some of you guys might want might want to just like prepare your bags, like pre-pack your bags right now. Because I get like the sense of just like the sudden move, like a sudden vacation. I don't know if some of you guys get like this urge to just like or like an opportunity comes forward where you can do like a last minute like road trip somewhere or maybe moving like environments or something like that, living environments, what have you. But I do get like this sense of like because I am being shown like the suitcase still consistently. Like, yeah, it's like the sense of like movement is really going to be happening here. All right. For some of you guys, uh, Capricorn, it's going to be. Uh, plucking you from one place. I wanted to say Virgo because I feel like uh, because Virgo had like a sim like this what Virgo has been craving you're experiencing essentially Capricorn so you can go rub it into Virgo's face essentially here but like you're going to be having the movement that you've been craving here all right some people would say this as like a breakthrough necessarily i don't i feel like this is like a sense of like going on like a side quest here essentially virgo now there's that virgo essentially here capricorn all right but what happens after i mean ace of pentacles comes in right afterwards it's like whatever switches up this is like an exciting new thing that pops up for you very what is the word it's not eccentric sporadic is not the word spur of the moment all right very spur of the moment here for you capricorn but once it pre presents itself it pays off big time for you all right so i really like this a lot for you we're going to be keeping this two of swords here capricorn for all three rows here because that's what it's going to be influencing so keep that in mind darling all right so getting into your first row today capricorn we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind right now all right which happens to be king of wands knight of pentacles and the king of cups all right Ooh, all right it's two stubborn people darling having a stare down mirroring each other here capricorn all right i feel like someone has met their match here all right i feel like for you capricorn you're educating someone on just who, what who a capricorn actually is darling all right some of you guys you have to remind them who the heck you actually are because they must have forgotten capricorn that's the immediate thing that i see with this it's just like you must not know about me darling you must not really know how stubborn i can be all right Someone's challenging you, you here, Capricorn. I want to, I kind of get like this message here where it's just like, they want to see if you're like, who's going to like break first. All right. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like this unspoken tension, that might be something that you're going through as well, Capricorn, is where it's just like this unexplainable, just being like, why are you acting like this? Why are you feeling like this or doing this? Right. Why are you saying these things? Because I feel like you're just really confused about this. But at the same time, Capricorn, you're just like, all right, darling, if you want to be switching it up with me, honey, you can switch it up with me. All right. You'll you'll respond now and ask questions later if you care enough to. But right now you're just like, all right, darling, I don't know why you're switching up, but I'll I'll respond to it accordingly darling all right um and correct the situation all right because i get like the sense of like almost like the sense of you want to put someone in their place make them realize like who they actually are here all right knight of pentacles there i feel like um eventually here there's the stare down is going to end all right someone is going to break the silence or break off this stare down so let's expound on this more high priestess energy here 
all right spiritually practicing either you or this person here taurus all right what i want to be just suggesting as like a side note um why did i just call you taurus now <laughs> i'm calling you every single zodiac sign i apologize capricorn um but i wanted what i want to be actually saying here with that high priestess capricorn is just be keep like an evil eye on you or just like some black tourmaline on you as well you might be noticing them in your dreams or what have you i don't know i get like this sense of just like spiritual influence all right i usually don't get something like that but i do get like that sense of like spiritual influence you might need to just find yourself needing to just like burn some sage darling all right of their energy all right because i don't know if this person is like outright trying to do something like that there but you know better safe than sorry four of wands coming back in here all right so this lets me know that y'all will find each other again all right this you know y'all having this stir down right now i don't know what caused this it's none of my business of course here capricorn but what i can tell you is that whatever at the end of the day y'all will end up finding each other y'all will end up yeah y'all will be good two of cups here y'all will be good are, are y'all family is this like family dynamic capricorn or is this like a best friend this is definitely someone <laughs> like i don't know like i get the, the even though you have that king of cups and the wands and they're technically you know it's the fire and water energy so they're technically um the opposite but I get like this sense here, Capricorn, where it's just like, you know, this is like someone that you have in your life and you're just like, you know what, bless your heart. Sometimes your thoughts get in their way and then they get the best of them and then they start self-sabotaging, what have you. All right. I don't know. That's what I see here, Capricorn. It's like this sense of like i'm being shown like a minion now what does that mean it's like you're you're watching someone be self-destructive capricorn you realize it's not about you you're realizing it's all them you're watching them be self-destructive and i feel like for you you're just like all right darling you do that over there i'm not engaging with this all right i'm not going to allow you to lure me into that bs but when the time comes if you need to correct it you're going to correct it and when the time comes I do hear like this sense of like you're expecting like you, the, I hear like it's like there's some explaining to do but I still get this sense of like y'all still gonna be talking <laughs> at some point in time I don't know how y'all end up talking but I do definitely feel like y'all gonna be talking all right so let's get into now these cards are sticking on to me Capricorn uh let's get into now uh what you need to hear today all right Capricorn what do y'all need to hear today you have the sun eight of pentacles as well as the emperor energy all right what you need to hear right now Capricorn is that <clears throat> I mean, for one, this is going to be a corny message here, but it's going to be working out here for you. All right. First thing I say, want to be acknowledging, though, is with this Empress energy or not Empress, this Emperor energy <laughs> doll, <laughs> this Emperor energy Capricorn. All right. I really feel like for you, everything that's happening to you right now, you <coughs> excuse me, you may have been feeling like everyone and everything has been pushing your buttons and I mean, it, the reason why you feel that way is because it has here at Capricorn. All right. I feel like you're really being pushed to this emperor. All right. You're everyone and everything is like pushing you to show your emperor face where you're just like, let me remind you who I actually am here. All right, Capricorn. And it's in the sense here. It's just like, again, I get like developments here. I get things needing to like certain showdowns or certain stare offs needed to happen. Certain confrontations needed to happen, Capricorn um because the path that y'all have been going down up until this point i feel like just wasn't feeling good for you all right and so i feel like there did need to be like this confrontation or just this acknowledgement capricorn of layer where you were just saying it's like all right something's not working out here all right and change is inevitable but i feel like that change comes in in the sense of like i don't know i still get the sense of confrontation or at the very least you acknowledging capricorn certain behaviors or certain things that you're just like uh-uh all right <clears throat> clarifying this row here let's take a look eight of wands as i said here capricorn i feel like there's going to be a lot of movement for you all right again i get like this sense for you some of you guys might be moving here in the com coming days here and i feel like it's unexpected all right i feel like the, whatever movement happens it's very last minute very unexpected hermit energy with the two of wands here very last minute energy here but it's really important that you um get out of your shell this week capricorn i feel like it's really important for you to be adventurous at this time here 
all right there is like this sense here capricorn where it's just like by putting something into the forefront uh in your life here it helps you out in the long term so in regards to like social life here all right uh socially you might be getting like a random last minute invitation to go out somewhere capricorn i feel like it would be really invaluable to do that for others of you in a social way this is like a sense of where you speak your truth about a situation someone that you haven't been talking to in a little bit because you were just like let me put my space between myself and them here i feel like by you addressing the situation and being like hey like this needs to change here all right i feel like that's what causes like progression to finally happen where things were initially feeling pretty stale all right capricorn so let's get into your oracle cards now all right so you guys have number 44 all right equaling to eight in numerology so go ahead and look up the number eight for me uh capricorn to see how that resonates also the day of me uploading this here is going to be officially what people officially call the lion's portal the 888 right um or 888 in the sense of august 8th the first eighth of the month what have you all right so eight is definitely following you here i would definitely suggest for you capricorn to really utilize today's energy um for whatever it is that you're trying to create all right because the eight is aligned with you guys so this is pretty this is pretty insane like and i would even say this is like really like <laughs> i feel bad for the capricorns that are not going to be seeing this reading on the day of uh the eighth because um eight is seemingly really powerful here it's all you know the lion gates portal it's called the portal i don't know really really know why personally but even here there's the portal there capricorn so it's just like it's like this is really like unexpectedly like a important spiritual message for some folks all right moon oracle card coming in here new moon in sagittarius focusing in on the positive here uh capricorn all right and also with that perfect storm i know we even talked about this here the perfect storm having the courage to step into life here having the courage to step into life here and focusing in on the positive for many of you guys capricorn you're separating yourself from a lot of people and energies that have just been making you feel down about yourself these people they may just bring forth like a lot of dramas a lot of stress in your life here capricorn and i feel like for you you need to be the one to just you know speak from that megaphone and be like hey fix your shit <laughs> essentially capricorn that's what i hear it's like the sense of you just being like you know like act right smarten up you have the cardinal card coming in here this might have some this i feel like this popped up for you just super recently capricorn as well all right the cardinal card i always say is it has some, usually some spiritual significance for somebody all right the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance so do whatever it is you need to do capricorn to bring them back into equilibrium my goodness here for some of you capricorns i feel like there's like this message here of remembering you might be getting thoughts of like um move past on loved one that you haven't thought about in a long time especially pets i don't know why i got that like especially pets you might be dreaming of like a pet you haven't thought of in a long time but also capricorn you might be feel <sighs> i get like the sense some of you guys are feeling really isolated or feeling feeling really alone right now some of you guys might have felt as if you lost your way because you've been spending so much time fighting to survive that it's just like I don't know you feel like everything is lost some of you guys might be hitting like a rock bottom or what you feel like is a rock bottom uh capricorn and what i want to be telling you is that there is some type of spiritual force trying to make its appearance into your life all right so let's get into your predictions here today capricorn all right you have the ace of swords two of pentacles with that empress energy there is this empress darling that i was talking about so much that I kept on <laughs> uh calling the emperor here uh what i see happening for you here capricorn is honestly in the coming days for you guys i see inspiration i see your creative juices flowing some of you guys might have been going through like a writer's block capricorn that's going to be um you're going to be overcoming that but i feel like it's through some type of travel that that writer's block or that block in general uh fixes itself for some of you capricorns i know it might sound really weird but some of you guys might be experiencing like a financial block or just whatever you whatever block that you want to describe it as darling um i feel as if like as weird as it sounds you might be going through that financial block but you know spending money on like a little mini vacation even if it's just like at a hotel like a staycation of a hotel near you for a couple of days i don't know i feel like there is like this sense of 
importance for you to separate you, yourself from your current environment, getting you out of that hermit energy there, all right, into new energy. I see, though, in the coming days that you're going to be really busy, really, really busy um, through inspiration, though, because, again, I keep on hearing the creative juices are flowing, so... All right, Capricorn, I love you so much, darling. Hopefully this tarot reading gave you some resonance, gave you some sense of clarity today. All right, if it did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn. And remember, darling, if you want to book a reading with me, simply Velka dot com linked down below next to my social medias tiktok instagram and facebook all of them just being simply welcome darling all right until next time the hello capricorn i love you so much bye